Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you're thinking about how you want visitors to navigate about your site, you probably want it to be as simple and obvious as possible so that they'll like the way your site works. A way you can easily create navigation options for them is to create a link bar that is automatically created based on the structure of your site. To create a link bar, first click into the area or point in the page you want to place the link bar. The process for creating link bars is somewhat different from front page 2000 than it is from 2002 to 2003. So let's first take a look at front page 2000. To insert the link bar, click insert in the menu bar and then click navigation bar. In the navigation bar properties dialog box, you must select which type of navigation bar you'd like. In this case, it would be back and next. Next, in the orientation and appearance section, you must select whether you want the navigation bar to be horizontal or vertical. Also to the right, whether you'd like it to be buttons or text. If your page does not yet have a home page or parent page link, you can add those by selecting the checkboxes in the upper right corner. When you're finished, click OK. In front page 2002 and 2003, after you click into the place where you want your navigation bar, click Insert in the menu bar, and then click Navigation. This will open the Web Component dialog box with link bars already selected in the component type list. Then, for this type of link bar, in the list to the right, select Bar with Back and Next Links. Once you've done that, click Next. Now you must select a design for your link bar, or if you'd simply like it to conform to the theme that's already applied to your page or site, leave Use Pages Theme selected and click Next. Now you'll need to choose an orientation, either horizontal or vertical. Once you're done here, click Finish. Next, you'll be prompted to enter a name for the link bar if you do not already have another link bar of the same type somewhere in your site. If you do already have another link bar of the same type, you can use that link bar to create this link bar. However, in this case, we don't have any others, so we'll need to create a new name for it. Once you create a name, click OK. Now you'll need to specify which pages are to load when someone clicks Back and Next. To do this, click the Add Link button. In the Link To section, you'll need to make sure you select Existing File or Web Page. The first page you select should be the page that loads when someone clicks back. So for this example, I'll pick Service 2. Once you've done that, click OK. Then, click Add Link again to add the next page. This one would be Service 4. You'll also need to add the page the link bar is being added to. So again, click Add Link, and in this case, that would be Service 3, the one right between 2 and 4. In front page 2002, be sure to place the current page between the other two pages. To do this, select the current page, and then use the Move Up or Move Down buttons as necessary to make it between the other two pages. In front page 2003, the position of the current page 
does not matter, as front page 2003 knows not to create a link to the current page. When you're finished, click OK. If at any time you need to edit the link bar, you can double click it to modify its properties. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.